We're less than two months away from the New York Tennis Open at the Nassau Coliseum. It's safe to say when Long Island native Noah Rubin takes the court, the Merrick native will get one of the loudest ovations. Today I went one on one with Rubin on his memorable year and what he's hoping for in 2018. Noah Rubin made a decision less than three years ago to turn pro. As you can imagine, the 21-year-old still goes through surreal moments. I've gone to Islander games forever. I was with my dad and my parents all the time. So this is a dream I never thought that could be possible. Noah's dream of playing pro tennis in his hometown becomes a reality next February during the New York Open. This is something that, you know, I've waited for to, you know, have two black courts just battling out in front of all my friends and family back home is really nice. Other people might uh, think that he would be nervous. I'm telling you, he's going to embrace that moment and he's going to shine. Tennis coach Lawrence Klager has been dishing out lessons to Noah since he was seven years old. Ruben's rising stardom hasn't stopped him from returning to the place where it all started, sport time in Sayasi. Sentimental to be back here and to help the kids out and just be around this area. So I love coming back at all costs. In less than a month, Ruben will compete in the 2018 Australian Open, the very same tournament he won all of his qualifying matches and reached the second round back in January, only to lose to the eventual champion, Roger Federer. You know, to face another American to win my first round at a Grand Slam is, is incredible, and we knew we were going to play Federer. We knew whoever won that match was going to play Federer, and that's our dream. I mean, that's what we play our whole lives for. You can see Noah and some of the world's best compete in the New York Open at the NYCB Live Arena from February 11th to the 18th. That puts a bow on our Fios 1 Sports Recap. I'm Justin Walters.